Once upon a time, there was a young boy whose destiny was to become king. This boy's name was off. No, 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 we've all heard that story before. Tell us a different one. All right then, we'll try a different one. Once upon a time, there was a young knight whose destiny was to find the great cup known as the Holy Grail. No, we've heard that one too. We want something new. Something new. Yes, yes, we want something new! All right then, let's try something new. Like always, Austin began his day by making himself a smoothie for breakfast. And like every other day, before drinking his smoothie, Austin would indulge himself with a nice strong cup of coffee out of his favorite coffee mug. But, as Austin would soon find out, this was not to be just another day. to get it back, man. You wouldn't happen to have any Dr. Pepper around here, would you? But I, who are you? I am the one that is going to help you get your coffee cup back. But first, I'm going to need a Dr. Pepper. Really? You, you can help me get it back? Tell me how. First, well first, you have to know who took it. The guy is one of the baddest dudes around. He is the most rotten man alive. He is pure evil. Well, who is it? It is Lord Evil himself. <sighs> That's right, Lord Evil. He dwells in the depths of Starbucks. You can go there, but it will not be easy. Well, getting my coffee mug back is worth it. So tell me what I gotta do. All right, if you are sure. First, you must walk down this hallway, grasp the doorknob at the end of the house, and turn it vigorously, pulling it toward yourself. You will then exit the building, placing one foot in front of the other and following that pattern as a way of transportation. You will soon reach, if you follow the path, you will soon reach a honey bear tree on the edge of the dark forest. As you go past the honey bear tree, you'll find a laughing gopher. The laughing gopher probably be laughing. Do not let it throw you off. And remember, do not try to cross the crosswalk at the last minute, for if you do, the results may be catastrophic. After you've crossed the crosswalk, walk up the hill, continuing your left foot, right foot pattern. After you've passed your 12th McDonald's, you must check and look and make sure that there are no more than 17 and a half birds in your vicinity. 
The black-topped crane does not count. After you've counted all the birds, check to your right, and you will see the Starbucks where Lord Evil dwells. Are there any questions? Uh, oh, just one. Um, am I supposed to drop the six pesos in the drinking fountain before or after I whip the jackal with a wet noodle? Do not be ridiculous. You are supposed to drop the six pesos in the jackal's mouth while beating the drinking fountain with the wet noodle. Now, prepare yourself for your quest. Take this, and may your breath always stay fresh. Okay. Now, where is the Dr. Pepper? And so it was that Austin set out on his journey. But he would not be alone, for joining him would be his good friend, Caleb. So began what would later be known as the quest for the coffee. The chicken obviously came before the egg. I don't see how you can't see that. No, no, that's no, true. because there couldn't be an egg with no. There couldn't be a chicken without an egg. No, no but the chicken had to be there to warm the egg. Excuse me, chaps. Yes, you two right there. We need your opinion on something. Uh, what? Yeah, what's going on here? We were having an important scientific conversation of great importance. About the fact that the chicken came before the egg. No, we were having a conversation about how all chickens come from eggs. And yes. the egg obviously came first. No, the chicken came before the egg. Okay, y'all obviously know that the chicken came before the egg, don't you? Uh... Hey, hey you, what's your opinion on this matter? Yeah. Uh, what's wrong with him? Uh, he thinks he's a goat. Why? Well, he licked the grass during Insect Awareness Month, and he they said they were, he was going to contract a weird disease because of the chemicals they put on the grass, but apparently he, it's insect. he just thinks he's a goat now. It's we're just happy candy. he still has half a yeah. mind. But that's not important at all. We need to find out which came first, the chicken or the egg. Chicken hmm. came first. Egg? Well, I think it's rather obvious that since you can't have an egg without a chicken, and you can't have a chicken without an egg, they both appear at the same time. That's brilliant! It's brilliant, it's brilliant! Thank you, Chaps, thank you, thank oh, you. Yeah, of We've been at this for Why days. Why did you think of that earlier? I... Uh, it's his fault. Well, what are y'all doing out here anyway? Well, it's kind of a long story, but I'll make it quick. All right. Okay. So, so I'm in the kitchen, and I brewed a pot of coffee, and I went to pour it, and I did, but my mug, it was gone! It wasn't there! And, and, and I, looked, I looked down the hall, and there 
was a person. And they were like, like standing there looking at me, holding my coffee mug. And, and I was like, well, my coffee mug is, I was like, it's my coffee mug. And then this hippie guy walked in and I was like, what's up with this guy? And he's been wearing a Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper of all things. When I was looking for my mug. And then he told us that we had to go get my mug because, I don't know, I guess because it's my mug. And he understood that and I like him for that. And he gave us this list of instructions and, you know, we just have a ton of stuff to do. And it's really crazy. And we're trying to get to Starbucks because that's where Lord Evil is in Paris. He's the one that had somebody come and get my coffee cup. You know, he didn't do it, but somebody of his did. And so, you know, now we have to go to Starbucks and he lives in the depths of Starbucks and we have to get the coffee mug. So we're out here following the instructions of the hippie. That's it. That's quite an adventure. Quite an adventure. Yeah. Uh, well, anyways, we should probably get going. Yeah. Wait, wait. May I come with you? Um, well, we don't really have room for tag alongs, and we do you have like any skills that could help us? On yes, our I do. I'm a lumberjack. Oh, that's awesome. But I don't know why we'd need a lumberjack, and that's like a really small axe. And well, well, I I I chopped small wood. Like like I I can chop pieces of wood for a fire. At night, um, and if you point it to a telephone pole, I can have it down within the hour. I mean, we really don't need a lumberjack, and we really gotta get going. Yeah. Please. And especially if we want to make it to Starbucks. On yeah, time. we probably ought to get to the honey bear tree before nightfall. Yeah, probably. The honey bear tree? Yeah. I know a shortcut to get there. It'll take hours off your trip, days even. Yeah, well, we probably should. It's a great idea! A it's a shortcut, yes, Caleb. Yes, I know a shortcut. A shortcut! Please, may I come with you? All right, fine, but but make it fast. Yes, yes. yes. All right, but before we go, uh, I have to go home and pick up my aunt. I left her at home. She gets quite lonely. Okay. Uh, she, she she'll be fine. She can. All right, just All right, let's just go. as long the as way. it's quick. Okay, it's quite it's right this way. Come quickly, chaps, quickly. There you go, little darling. Daddy's here. My aunt. Now let me get this straight. They know I have the mug, and they think that they're coming to take it from me. Who do they think they are? You're going to stop them, or I will personally Come down there and kill you all myself. Got it? Meanwhile, Caleb had chosen to fall behind from the rest of the group, having grown tired of Philip the Lumberjack's endless stories. And they all rushed in to the building and they were all killed. They died. And it was all for nothing in the end. And that was the story of Chump's Wall. Wow. Hold up. Where's that taller fellow? I don't know. The, the tall chap? I'm sure he'll catch up eventually. I'm Come sure on, let's go. Will. It was about that time that Caleb screaming woke up our good friend Mr. Squirrel. Luckily, Mr. Squirrel was not the type to complain about the noise, and thus went back to sleep. Meanwhile, Austin and Philip the Lumberjack continued on, during which they saw a few things they didn't quite understand. Come back here with my spoon, you red top freak! That's my spoon! Come back! That's my spoon there! Come back! Okay, let's go. No! Austin! The sign says stop. Oh, of course. It's silly me. Stop. Well, yeah. we'll stop, yeah. We'll stop. We can probably go now. No, we no, we can't go. We can't go. It says, it says, it says stop. Okay. We can't go unless it says go, right? Hmm. I've never sure. really thought about it that way before, but, but you're true. right. It is true. Well, then what are we gonna do? I don't, maybe if we ask it nicely. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. Please, sir, say go. Well, we gotta go somehow. 
We were on our knees. Like begging him. Yes. That could work. We beg him. Maybe, okay. maybe he responds well to that. Please, sir, say go. It didn't work. It's not working. Uh, um, try something else. Uh, maybe he just doesn't understand your accent. That's right. Maybe if I try something else. He's from the country, right? I guess. Excuse me, sir. Um, please say go. Do you know Spanish? Uh, yes, I do know Spanish. Do you know Spanish? No, you should probably try it. Okay, a bit better at Spanish than you are. Yeah, of course. how I'm Mexican. All right. Por favor, el goe. I'm pretty sure you just offended him there. Yeah, he doesn't look happy. He's getting all red. Well, we could try going around him. Good idea. Let, so, let's, let's go. We'll just kind of go. We'll, we'll just go around here. You know, it's uh, it still says stop. Uh, it still says stop. Uh, Philip, look. Let's go. No, no, Austin. Not past the sign. It says stop. We uh. That way. Yes. Austin, you have no idea what just happened to me. There's this, I was walking through the woods and there's a big red fuzzy thing that grabbed my head and took me and it was torturing and like... Philip's gone. Wait, what? Wait, wait, we lost Philip? I can't believe we lost Philip, just like that. He was a brave man. Now what are we gonna do? We're completely lost. We never should have gone off the path. Philip said he had a shortcut. That doesn't really help us much now. Now our instructions are completely useless. It's totally hopeless. Hello there! You seem to run into a bit of a problem, haven't you? You scumbags, you failures. Who are you? None of your business, you loser. Well, it seems like you guys are in quite a bit of a problem. <laughs> you never even are going to make it to Starbucks, aren't you? Wait, how did you know Well, our... it seems like you might as well just lay down and die now, you failures. Wait a second, we're not going to stand for this. Alright, this is much better. Well, it's a good thing you didn't find it there anyways. I mean, you wouldn't have been able to do anything if you had. Of course we would have. Oh, well, excuse me! And I suppose you had a plan, didn't you? Uh, well, uh, not exactly. Oh, I see then. So it's a good thing, because you would have all died, you failures! You losers! Yes, you never would have been able to make it! Well, one less... Uh, 
But you wouldn't want to hear about that, no. About what? No, 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 you wouldn't want come to on, hear about that. Come on, just tell us. Come on. Decaf! What? Decaf! You must go to the place of Target and get yourself some decaf. Okay, okay we'll, we'll go to Target. Yeah, we'll get it. Get but there is one thing. You must go there backwards! Wait, why would we have to go backwards? Why? Why do they have to go there backwards again? No, I'm asking you! I said I'm asking you, you scumbag! No, you're the scumbag! Same to you! Stop asking so many pathetic questions and just go there backwards! Okay, I guess we'll go backwards. I guess so. And so backwards, Austin and Caleb set course for the place of Target. But in doing so, they would have to go through the land of the pirates. Why do we have to be walking backwards? Arg! Well, at least this way we're always watching our backs. Arg! Where did you get that eye patch? Arg! I don't know. Where'd you get yours? Arg! And why can't I stop saying arg? Arg! I don't know either. Arg! I'm tired of walking backwards. Arg. Me too. Let's stop. Arg. No, wait. The hermit said we have to walk backwards. Arg. But wait. Arg. If we walk backwards while we're walking backwards, arg, then we're still walking forwards, but we're walking backwards. Arg. Perfect. Arg. You cannot cross this bridge unless you give me a tip. Arr. A tip? Arr? Aye, you cannot cross me bridge unless you give me a tip. Arr. Okay, arr. Not that kind of tip. Arr. If you want to cross me bridge, you must give me a tip. Arr. I've got it. Arg. If at first you don't succeed, then skydiving probably isn't for you. Arg. Not that kind of tip. Arg. If you want to cross me bridge, you must give me a tip. Oh, arg. Hmm. Not that kind of tip. Arg. If you want to cross this bridge, you must give me a tip. Arg. That's it! Thank you, Billy! Arr! Oh, thank you, sir. You may now cross me bridge. Having left the land of the pirates, Caleb and Austin found themselves entering the outskirts of the place of Target, which brought them face to face with the Great Laughing Rock. Um, is that rock laughing? It is laughing. <laughs> that, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I Why is the rock laughing? I don't know. Why are we laughing? <laughs>
You're not gonna leave that there, are you? Uh, that would be littering. Uh, Alright, we'll put it back. And taking the hermit spoon with them, they entered into the place of Target. Look, there it is, Target. Come on, let's go get the decaf. Caleb, I can't go in. Why not? Come on. Well, when I was a kid, like, I don't know, five years old or something like that, my mom took me there one time, and I saw this Lego set. Beautiful. Perfect, shiny Lego set with sparkles around it. Just sitting there, asking me to take it. But my mom wouldn't let me have it. Every time we went into Target, I, I asked her and begged her and pleaded with her to let me have the Lego set. But she wouldn't, even though it was right there, sparkly and shiny. <laughs> All right, fine. You wait here, and I'll go get the decal. Aha! What? I've caught up to you, Fleabag! Who are you? I am Lord Evil's number one assassin and I am here to end your life! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're just a girl. You know, my mother always taught me not to hit girls, but I think in your case, I can make an exception. What? Come here. Let's see a secret. Secret? I love secrets. What is it? No! Oh, no! Oh, it's oh. a big boy. Get hurt by the puny little girl. All right, let's do this. What is that? What? Ah! Oh! Oh! throwing something away, told me that my destiny was to wait at a target, waiting for somebody to come out with decaf coffee. And I've been waiting at this target for years and years, and just hoping that this was the right target. And you have come. So you're saying you want to come with me? No, I'm saying I must come with you. Well, I don't know. Do you have any skills or anything that can help? I mean, well, uh, 
I, I got a bow staff. You have a bow staff? Oh, fantastic, of course you can come. possibly think you could defeat me? <laughs> You're too far too scrawny and weak. I bet you even have to shop in the kids' department. <laughs> uh, Wait, what are you doing? Get away from him! Oh, isn't this touching? Your foolish friends think they can help you, but what they don't know... Is, is that a bow staff? Why? Why, yes it is! <laughs> no, 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 anything but that. No! Austin, are you all right? What do you guys think? Oh, man. Um, well, uh, anyway, this is Austin's... Setios. Setios. And uh, he wants to join us on our quest. And uh, he has uh, he has a bow staff. Ah, nice to meet you, Setios. Let's go find somewhere to sit down. And as they rested, our companion sat and reflected on what had just transpired. I can't believe I got beat up by a girl. <laughs> I can't believe Austin got beat up by a girl. <laughs> I am so awesome with my bow staff. Well, we have the decap, but what are we supposed to do with it? I don't know. The Hermit didn't say. But I mean, even if he did, we don't even know how to get to Starbucks from here. We're hopelessly lost. <sighs> Maybe we should just turn around and go home. I mean, it is just a coffee cup after all. What? No, after we've done all this, after we've been beaten up and stuff, we're not turning around now. We're finding your stupid coffee cup. That's right, man. You have to get back the coffee cup. Where the crud did you come from? Oh, actually, I've been here like all day and you guys just woke me up from a nap, but do you guys have any more Dr. Pepper? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, you guys are the best. And as I was saying, you guys need to get your coffee cup back. But why? I mean, it's just a coffee cup. Dude, it's more than just a coffee cup, okay? It's, it's an ancient artifact. I probably, probably should have told you before, but uh... Before, before you go and get it, uh, you need to go draw some water from the fountain. Oh? Okay. Here you go. Oh, very good. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad we got that out of the way. So, now, man, the reason that you guys need to get the coffee cup back. He then began to explain that Austin's coffee mug in the days of old had once been held by the great thinker statue, along with a spoon known as the Spoon of Rusty. getting stolen and passed around and finally it was given to me for safekeeping. So I put it, I gave it to you, because you're just an ordinary guy. No one would take it from you. Yeah, well obviously they did, but I still don't see what this has to do with anything. I mean, what is so special about this coffee cup? But you see, if you fill the coffee cup with the correct amount of coffee, cream, sugar, and you stir it with a spoon of rusty, it bestows upon you incredible magical powers. So that is why you guys need to continue your quest to get the coffee cup back. Because who knows what they could use it for. And and it 
journey may be dangerous, I do, it will be dangerous, and you may even die, but that is a sacrifice that I'm willing to take. And so, is that decaf? Uh, yeah, it is actually, we just picked it up from Target. That is excellent, fantastic, hope is reborn, gentlemen, come on! And with the hippie there to guide them, they pressed on. And after being sure to turn left at the fork, they finally found themselves at Starbucks. There it is! Starbucks! And underneath you'll find Lord Evil. Well, that's, that's great, but uh, how do we get in? This way, man! This is the way, guys. Be safe, my brother. Peace to complete my plan. The spoon of Rusty. Oh. 
And hearing these words, Austin realized that the spoon the hermit had thrown at them was the very spoon of Rusty. And though all hope now seemed lost, Austin began to remember. <sighs> decaf! Is that decaf? Yeah. Decaf. What? What was that? Oh, oh, nothing. Uh, it's uh, just a good thing you don't have this uh, super special coffee. It, like, ex amplifies the power of the mug of power by, like, ten times. But, uh, we have it and you don't, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh! Thank you. I'm super excited for you. Oh. Oh. oh, go team! I knew we could do it! Woo! I'm gonna need some more Dr. Pepper. Peace! You know what? go to your house instead? Yeah, let's do that. And now Austin could rest in comfort knowing that his favorite coffee mug was back where it belonged. though he may have forgotten one thing. But that's a story for another time.